Hey, this is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky, and this is part of our technique series. Today we're going to work on the open guard sweep called the knee block sweep. Okay, so we're going to be working this from the spider guard. If you haven't seen the spider guard video, click the link above and watch that so you know kind of the context you're working from. The way this move, this move works is we're going to take the person over in a wheeling motion by blocking at the knee. Any of the judoka out there watching this, this is basically kind of like a, a Hiza Garuma throw from the ground. So H-I-Z-A, G-U-R-U-M-A, I'll put this on the, on the video if you want to Google this to kind of see what it looks like from standing. Um, so what I'm going to do here is set this situation up. He can either be already stepped back in which case I'll grab his ankle and we'll start here or I can force him to step back by grabbing his ankle and holding it and pushing with my feet okay because he has nowhere to go once I get him in the stepped back situation I'm going to move my hip over on top of his foot or very near his foot from here I'm going to let this foot slide down and block the knee Okay? I'm not going to push the knee, I'm just going to lay my knee foot on it. I'm going to draw my opponent in by pulling the sleeve and allowing this knee to come towards my head. Okay, See how I draw him in? Okay, Draw high. As he comes in, once he gets over top of me and, I, and has lost his balance, I'm going to turn to my left towards the camera and push with my foot as I turn with my ankle, with his ankle. Okay? So I'll draw him in first, then I'll turn over and take him down here. And then come up on top. Maybe in side control, maybe in half guard, maybe in guard. I don't know. Alright, so let's do it from the other side. So, again, I'm going to force the situation by grabbing the ankle, pushing the guy backwards, moving my hip over so that my butt is on his foot, keep the, the hand down towards the knee, and now I'm going to draw him in here, turn slightly to the side, and take him over. Come up. So, the common errors in this throw are I don't want to do too much with this, this foot. Okay? A lot of people tend to want to push with this foot, which is actually counterproductive. What I want to do is if I did this without the foot, he would just take a step forward. right? And nothing would happen. But he has to take that step forward. So if I put my foot here, he can't step forward. And I can, I can take him down. Okay? So that's really the most common error, that and not getting over onto your side enough. So make sure you get those two things hammered out and this throw, this takedown works really, really well. It ends up, I call it a throw sometimes because it's actually for for a sweep from the ground, kind of a hard hitting throw. So make sure your opponent's sort of ready for it. You'll, you'll probably need to know how to fall. Okay, so it can be kind of a high amplitude technique. This has been Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky. Train hard, train smart, and train often. I'll see you next time.